It's tempting to think of the ocean as a domain of quiet, or as Jacques Cousteau himself called it, the silent world. Le monde du silence. But in fact, the sea is full of noise. Sea mammals, crustaceans, diving birds, and a number of fish communicate with pulses of sound. Dolphins, as we all know from the modern cinematic masterpiece Flipper, use echolocation. Echo what? Dolphin sonar. See, Flipper sends a beam of sound toward an object and receives an echo back. He can see in total darkness. Mm, yeah. Yeah. About 20 million years after dolphins mastered echolocation, it occurred to human beings that the skill might have some use when a young man named Leonardo DiCaprio drowned needlessly in the ocean following an unfortunate incident with a ship I can't remember the name of. Sonar, or sound navigation and ranging, is only one of the ways that human beings have doubled noise levels in the ocean every decade since the mid-20th century. What was once the exclusive domain of clicks, whines, and whale songs is now thronged with the thunder of ship propellers ultra-loud naval sonar, and seismic surveys of oil and gas companies which blast air guns so loud they penetrate kilometers into the ocean floor. So loud that they are 10 trillion times more intense than the sound of my voice. The effect of such deafening noise is devastating to the ocean's ecosystem, and by extension, the world's at large. It is particularly destructive to whales who use low-frequency noises to communicate across large distances. Trapped in that disorienting cacophony, whales swim and dive erratically, causing decompression sickness and mass strandings on nearby beaches. In July of this year, the Obama administration authorized seismic air gun testing for an unprecedented swath of the Atlantic Ocean, something the government itself determined would injure more more than 138,000 dolphins and whales, including the North Atlantic right whale, of which and where there are only a meager 500 left. My charity for the 2014 Project for Awesome is Oceana, the largest international advocacy organization focused solely on ocean conservation. They have the resources, the coordination, and a laundry list of victories against the admittedly huge interests that degrade our sea every day. You know, a hundred years ago, we had no fear that what we did could affect the vastness of the ocean. Then a few of our bravest went up into space, and the pictures they took there gave us an urgent new perspective, helping us to see that the world which made us could buy us be unmade.